Do you use your personal devices to access bank accounts, personal photos, private messages? What about data from your workplace and all the devices you use in your job on a daily basis? Chances are your devices have some sensitive information stored on them. The impact of any of these devices getting hacked, lost or stolen could be catastrophic with severe consequences beyond just you and your data. So what can you do to protect yourself against the worst case scenarios? Here are 10 tips to help secure your devices. Always protect devices with anti-malware. Many devices come with anti-malware built in and this should always be running and up to date. There are many providers to choose from. Some are free whilst others require a subscription, but even free providers offer a good standard of protection. Use firewalls on your devices. A firewall's job is to block out network connections to your device and only allow connections that are given permission. Host-based firewalls come as default with most modern day devices, so keep them enabled. Don't turn them off as a shortcut to connecting to other networks or to get a particular piece of software running. Keep software up to date. Every update has a purpose and shouldn't be ignored. Many devices and apps can install updates automatically and this option should be enabled where possible. Sometimes they'll need a bit of help from the device user, so you'll need to keep an eye on updates in case they stop working and install them manually when prompted. If you're a business with mobile devices, consider enrolling them on a mobile device manager or MDM to keep a consistent standard across the board. Use a login with a unique username and password. The best and strongest passwords use three random words typed with a mix of upper and lowercase letters and combined with special characters. Make your device's lock screen more secure. Swipe pattern unlocking is not recommended as your swipe marks can be easily visible to others. Ensure that there is a maximum limit of 10 login attempts before the user has to wait to try again. Make sure your devices are locked when not in use. It's a good idea to set the device to lock after two to three minutes of inactivity. Brute force attacks, where a hacker uses trial and error to get your password, are common. Protect against this kind of attack by using at least one of the following. Multi-factor authentication, making users wait longer and longer to attempt login after each unsuccessful attempt. Locking an account after no more than 10 unsuccessful attempts. Turn on encryption where possible. When connecting to networks remotely, do so over a VPN or virtual private network to ensure your data is encrypted in transit. Always have a backup. A lot of malware is ransomware that steals data, encrypts it, and holds it for ransom. If you have a secure backup, you can't be held to ransom and you can restore your data at your leisure. Ensure any backups are stored separately from the device, perhaps on an external hard drive. That way, if disaster strikes the device, you still have access to your data. Think twice before connecting devices to public Wi-Fi. Don't use encrypted networks and definitely don't access public Wi-Fi for any work or other sensitive activities like online banking. Click with caution. Malicious links are a real danger for malware attacks and phishing is an everyday threat. If you're not sure whether a link is genuine or not, then err on the side of caution and get a second opinion from an IT professional. Remember, attackers can take advantage of all sorts of vulnerabilities, from exploits in a device setting configuration to outdated versions of installed software, as well as people's own complacency when navigating the internet or inexperience in setting up new systems. You might not be able to make your devices completely impenetrable, but the more obstacles you put in place, the less appealing you become as a potential target.